Michelle enjoys the outdoors and she also has a hobby of photography and has shared some, some beautiful pictures with us. And we love to see what she, what she brings back from the places she goes. Um, that is one of her outlets, the nature and the beauty of the world. You know, there's something about that roar of the water when you're looking at a sunset or a sunrise, but just being in tune with those things around you, you know, it takes away the stress um, that may come with everyday life of nursing um, or everyday life for that matter. I do sometimes just break out the camera and get in the truck and drive and I may end up at the beach. I may end up in North Georgia in the mountains. If I have my camera in my hand, my truck will go anywhere. Michelle is an excellent nurse. She is extraordinary in the care she provides to patients and in the way she treats their families. When she's off, we can call and say, hey, Michelle, we need to transport a critically ill patient to Jacksonville or Savannah. Usually she will drop whatever she's doing and come in. And she is very confident in her skills and her ability, and she does an excellent job. Working with Michelle is an adventure. It's kind of like the box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get when you come in, but it's going to be zero to 120 miles per hour when you get in here. She's very caring. Um, she's a great problem solver. She does great assessments and picks up quickly on patients' signs and, and symptoms. If there's a code or a rapid response or emergency, she's going to probably be the first person in your room. She loves to precept and she is an excellent educator. Because of that transfer and download of her knowledge and experience, those nurses always excel. She stays motivated to do what the best thing is for families, even if that requires more time of her. So I learned that as a student nurse right off the bat. She's impacting the career of many of these new nurses and their ability to be successful, as well as the quality of care that our community members receive within our ICUs. She loves to make a difference for people and she has gone on several uh, healthcare missions around the world. She doesn't say much about them unless you ask. They do a lot of surgeries and so she kind of works as a PACU nurse and it's all life-saving surgeries or even just minor surgeries that people in that area wouldn't have access to if that group hadn't come in to do it. You see smiles on the faces, you see the thankfulness, you see the changes that you can make in their lives and um, it drives me. The farm is a nonprofit animal sanctuary that rescues mostly farm animals and it was started by a mutual friend of ours who also worked in CCU and she passed away. It was important for us to keep her mission going so Michelle and my friend Diana and I go out there regularly along with some other co-workers. We have horses, goats, chickens, lots and lots of cats, a few dogs out there and um, deer. Anytime we need help in any way Michelle's always the first one to volunteer. In October 2016, Hurricane Matthew was coming um, up the coast of Florida, and it was pretty obvious that we were going to get a close to a direct hit. And the decision was made to evacuate all the patients in the health system, which was a huge undertaking. In the middle of the night, we had one last patient come in with a gunshot wound, and the surgical staff had operated on him for a number of hours throughout the night. He was the only patient left in the system, and because of concerns about adequate electricity, water, availability of support staff. We elected to transfer the patient to another facility. The weather is starting to get bad and we couldn't fly anyone, so we were looking at 
probably a couple hour trip to get him to where he needed to go. There's no way that he could arrive there safely without a critical care RN. Of course, Michelle said, I'll go. And the ambulance that was transporting the patient said, we can't bring you back because of this hurricane. So she just kind of tossed her keys to her good friend and coworker, Mary, and said, follow me up and we'll ride back together. I really didn't have any thoughts or feelings about the situation at hand. I just knew that the patient needed to be transported. So we packed up the patient in the back of the squad with blood supplies, fluid supplies, a pump supplies, a ventilator. As we departed from Brunswick, headed to our destination, we were working really hard to get blood supplies into the patient in order to try and stabilize him. She and I were able to stay in contact throughout his transport and we were able to send her with a number of units of blood so that she could kind of direct his care as needed. Probably 15 to 30 minutes out from the destination, the patient started responding to me. So I'm 100% certain that the patient would not have survived had she not been in the ambulance with him. She was able to direct his care, give him a large number of transfusions that were required, and, um, and I think that was the only chance he had. She just stepped right up without a hesitation, never thought of herself as a hero by any means. I mean, this is something that she would just do in her normal, everyday life. When I found out that Michelle had actually gone on the transport, I wasn't surprised about it. And the thing that I love the most about it is that she didn't think that that was really a big deal. That's just what you're supposed to do. You know, she is such a hero in my mind and such a role model because she's just always striving to be the best that she can be. She's dedicated, you know, she's all in on being a nurse. There's people that wouldn't be in the world anymore if Michelle hadn't taken care of them. She won't stop till she gets the job done. Michelle is very authentic. She cares about people and she just wants to do what's best for them. What you've seen with her in, in filming, I think is the real Michelle. She's just like that. She makes an impact on everybody she, she's around.